Hi there, I'm Kathleen Jasper. And today I'm gonna to be talking about ancient civilizations for your social studies exam. Now this particular video will help you with the elementary, the middle and high school social studies certification exams for both the Praxis and the FTCE and really any certification exam you might be taking in social science. Ancient civilizations and the beginning of civilization is something that's tested on all of these exams. So let's get started. All right, so when we take a look at ancient civilizations, we first wanna know where these civilizations occurred on a map. And a lot of people have a hard time with geography and that's okay. So I'm gonna show you two ways in which you can kind of think about these civilizations. First, we're gonna take a look at Mesopotamia, Egypt, Greece, and Rome. I'm gonna show you where those are on the map. So when we talk about Mesopotamia, it's an ancient civilization and it was located right here where modern day Iraq is located or Iraq, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it. Okay, this is the area here. It's very fertile land. There are uh, waterways and things like that that can help with irrigation and crops. And Mesopotamia is considered the cradle of civilization because this is where people started to build communities, have commerce, trade goods, have norms and rules and all of that, which helps with civilization. So it's not where the first human was, but it is where the first civilizations that we know of occurred. And so that is happening over here in modern day Iraq. Now, the second civilization to kind of pop up in this area is Egypt, the Egyptian civilization. And they are kind of building their civilization along the Nile River here. This is the Nile. Of course, civilizations are going to happen where there are rivers and waterways because of two reasons. Well, because of many reasons, but the two main reasons are that next to water, you can irrigate your crops and it's fertile land. And you can also use the river and use the waterways to travel and trade goods and even move goods up and down the river. So rivers and waterways are always places where civilizations are going to form. Now this Nile River flows north actually and dumps out here into the Mediterranean Sea where this delta is here. And so people kind of started to build their civilizations all along this Nile River. So that's another ancient civilization to remember. Now, Egypt and Mesopotamia both contributed to our current civilization in the form of irrigation. So these people way, way back in the day learned how to irrigate crops using the water from, using fresh water from the Nile and other rivers that flowed through these areas. And so that was the start of irrigation. So remember that when thinking about ancient civilizations. Now, the next civilization to pop up is the Greeks right here, the Greek civilization here, Greece. Now, Greece gave the major contribution that Greece gave us was the, um, the democracy, was government. So they gave us government. Um, a word that is used in ancient Greece is polis, okay? And that is polit politics. Um, the poles, political. So that is what uh, ancient Greece gave us. So remember that. And notice that all of these ancient civilizations are kind of happening in this area of the world. And don't worry, I'm going to zoom out so you can see what this looks like in a second. And then finally, Rome. And Rome is an area in Italy here where the, you can see that's the boot of Italy there. And Rome is the last civilization we'll talk about here. And that is um, from Italy. And this is, you know, a huge civilization that impacts the world uh, many times over. And so this is where all of um, our ancient civilizations kind of took place. Now, when we're thinking about this in terms of, well, where is this in the world? Because a lot of people don't understand this part of the world. This is all happening in the Middle East and in Southern and Central Europe. And one more thing before I forget, Mesopotamia is where we get writing from as well. Let me just turn this into a darker purple. So we get cuneiform or writing from Mesopotamia. Now remember, this is the cradle of civilization. And in order to be civilized, you're kind of uh, reading and writing and understanding the world around you. Before that, you know, we were just kind of Neanderthals. Of course, I'm not a, um, a paleontologist. I'm sure there's a better term in terms of uh, time frame, but we're kind of roaming the, the earth and gathering food as we go. When we talk about civilizations, we're actually 
um, making rules and having schedules and writing things down and looking at our past and thinking about our future and stuff like that. And so that's where civilization really happens. And so writing in Mesopotamia, cuneiform, um, really starts to take shape in Mesopotamia. Then of course, Egypt, irrigation, uh, Greece, the government, polis, democracy, things like that. And then of course, Rome in terms of you know, arts and culture and just dominating the world for long periods of time. So let's zoom out a little bit here. You can see that I have a map of the entire world here. And if I'm talking about Mesopotamia, I'm talking about this area of the world right here. So notice we have Africa here, obviously, hopefully you guys know that. And then you have this uh, Arabian Peninsula or Saudi Arabia here, modern day Saudi Arabia. And this area here that I just highlighted where Mesopotamia was is actually modern day Iraq. So this is where um, Syria, Iraq, this area here is um, uh, Israel, Palestine, that kind of area here. Now notice if I zoom out, this is Europe all right here. And you can see that here is Rome and here is Greece. So all of these ancient civilizations are happening. Here's the Egyptian civilization here. All of it's happening in this area of the world here, the Middle East, pieces of Africa, and then of course, Southern Europe right here. So that's really important to remember. Now, remember that when we talk about what these ancient civilizations gave us, remember that Mesopotamia gave us irrigation, so did Egypt, irrigation and Mesopotamia was the cradle of civilization. Egypt was on the Nile River, so that's where irrigation really ramped up because they had this big water source to help them irrigate their crops. Greece helped us in terms of, or contributed to our society now in terms of government and poles, polis. And then of course, Rome. Rome contributed a lot to art and culture, but also in terms of government because they ruled for so long, Rome also fell, but they ruled for so long and, and had to build you know, a society and sustain a society for long periods of time. So those are the main aspects of ancient civilization. Of course, they get more in depth the higher up in grades you go. When you get into the middle grades and high school grades, you're gonna get more specific about what went on in these ancient civilizations. But but at least for now, this will help you understand the area where these ancient civilizations began and um, how this all happened.